As of June 8, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 6,931,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 400,857 deaths. Within the region of the Americas, there was a total of 3,311,387 cases. As of June 9, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 19 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 18 of those cases have fully recovered. The last case was a repatriated cruise national and was recorded on June 4, 2020. St. Lucia continues to receive repatriated nationals. These include students, cruise workers, and residents who were stranded during the border closure. They are required to undergo the 14-day quarantine at a government-designated facility. Testing is done as per protocol. During the last few weeks, the testing strategy focused on the testing of frontline workers and the repatriated cruise ship nationals. We also continued testing the patients who access care at the respiratory clinics and the community level. Over 67 physicians and nurses were tested and over 152 fire service and emergency medical technicians and fire service officers were tested at this time. We continue to note negative test results for the frontline workers and persons who access care at the respiratory clinics. We've carried out a total of 1,204 tests to date. The Ministry of Health and Wellness would like to alert the public that as we open up the sectors, the risk of transmission increases. We can reduce this risk by ensuring that public health and social measures are maintained. We also anticipate new cases. However, if we all comply by the guidelines and maintain them, the possibility for transmission is minimized. Although our focus has been on COVID-19, we must prepare for the hurricane season as it commences on June 1st. This period of increased rainfall also signifies increases in vector-borne diseases such as dengue fever and leptospirosis. We advise the public to pay special attention to their immediate surroundings to ensure it is clean and not providing a breeding ground for mosquitoes and rats. The vector awareness plan by the Ministry of Health will be launched later this month. As always, we continue to ask that everyone continues to sanitize their hands by either hand washing or using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer wearing their masks while undertaking daily activities out of home and to maintain the required six foot distance. Also, be sure to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues or clothing when coughing and sneezing. These simple and inexpensive actions will make a meaningful difference in preventing the spread of infection. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing you with regular updates on COVID-19.